Happy Sunday everybody. Sorry for the delay in feeding videos. But as I mentioned in the video I put posted yesterday, the rehousing video, uh, tried doing an Instagram thing. Didn't work out. So I will just be doing Instagram lives um, on Wednesdays and I will be giving YouTube the feeding days on Sundays. We have some new additions as well as a couple that we won't be able to feature today because they're still hardening up from molts but I will be able to show you uh, some of the enclosures because some of them have been rehoused so we will go ahead and just get started with the C. lividum the cobalt blue this guy is getting close to getting a rehouse as well he's got about one more molt and uh, and yeah and then he will get a new house and I will show you what those look like here um, here soon let me see if I can get this roach real quick there we go now we all know how this one is usually pretty fast Is he going to come? Maybe not. Um, so, this he might be in, it might be in pre molt because it is not like this one to not take food. So, we will move on to the next one and I will keep an eye on that. So next up is the Pteranoculus marinus, or OBT marinus. Let me see if I can. Now, so I thought this guy was molting, but I never saw him molt. So I don't know exactly what's going on with this little dude or gal, but uh, it doesn't want to take food right now. So, what I will do, just because I have seen it out and it has looked hungry, I'll go ahead and I'll just at least crush the head on this, and I'll leave it right there. So, if he wants that, he will get it. Go ahead and fill his water dish. Alright, a little bit of the substrate. Just because. I know they like it dry, but I'm not putting too much in there. So we will move on to the next one. We gotta get some feeding videos out of this. So I just realized that the first one was not the sea lividum, it was a Thai tiger. So this is a sea lividum. And if you look at how it's doing its web, I am going to rehouse this guy tonight because it wants deeper substrate. And I've been looking for the tall cubes like this for fossorial types, but I can't find them. So I ended up getting uh, a little something else that I will show you here soon. The web does look nice though, and that is why I'm putting it in something deeper because... I hate having to ruin it every time I gotta take the lid off. So I will probably have fun with that tonight. Let's see if he will take, it will take a live roach today. Maybe. I might let it run down in again. Yep, let it run down in. And Yeah, got him. So you can see there that he got the little roach. He's down in his little tunnel. So we will move on to the next, which is a new one. This is a new addition. I got this from Brian Baker. Um, 
He's with Stone Manus Invertebrates. You can give him a check out. But this is one that I have been looking for, and for a bit it was a little difficult to find, and I finally found one. Because I do not like to get them over an inch. I like to watch them grow and watch their behaviors as they mature. So I do get picky when I can't find the right size uh, tarantula. Alright, so this is the first feed in my care. So let's see if we can get something. We might not. We might just have to drop it in the hole. Yep. I accidentally uh, lost it, but you can see it got its meal. So we will leave it be. I can't wait for that little horn to come in. Definitely want to see that one. As I was putting the slings up, I noticed that the P. Marinus decided to take his roach, its roach, finally. So, up next we have the Hapalopus species Columbia Large. And there it is. This is number one. And let's see if I can't get it. I ran out of fruit flies. But I think this guy might be able to take down a small pinhead, so let's see. Alright, so I got a tiny pinhead and it is kind of crushed. Didn't mean to, but they're so small, so we'll see. Maybe. I believe it'll eat it. Oh yeah, there we go. So that works out. And that's probably a good meal for it, so. <laughs> Not even probably, like that's a, that's a good meal. Um, so we will move on to number two. Alright, so here is number two. This one should be a little more interesting because this little one's alive. There we go. Ooh. Just enough wiggle to draw that interest. It does not take much for these little guys. They pounce on anything. It's just really cool sometimes. I definitely like the active hunt. Alright, so we will let these guys enjoy their meals and move on. Alrighty, up next is the Chromatopelma Cyaneo pubescens. And, like I've said, we finally got some good sized roaches. So I can actually, oops, I accidentally hit the deal there. So I can actually feed these guys appropriate size lat roaches instead of the normal um, normal super worms. So let's see. Oh yeah. Never disappoints. I'm sorry that is dinner if you can hear that digging. So we got a little happy dance kind of sort of underneath the web there. He is going to town on that roach. Alright, so we will let him enjoy that and keep moving. Alright guys, I skipped one and I'm not sure how I could have forgot this one. This is also a new addition and this is a Pelanobius muticus or king baboon so yes I did end up getting another baboon this weekend um, let me see appropriate size roach I'm not used to having so many to choose from well sizes in general ah and let's see if we're gonna be able to get this guy he did oh well, it's right down in there, but I'm pretty sure he got it. There's a booty. He did a little bit of digging last night, but uh, not too much. But yeah, I'm assuming since he did not run out of that hole that he took it down. All right, we'll keep moving. 
Okay, so up next is the Gramostola Pulcropes, who is looking a little chunky. And it has been digging around, so it may be close to pre-molt. Which would be fine with me. I am ready for a rehouse anyway. So this guy can get a good sized little lat roach. And we will drop it right here. Ooh. Oh yeah. This is why I love these lat roaches. You can you can get that little chase out of them because they don't just freeze. They hit that ground and they move. And they don't stop moving until that T takes it down or the T doesn't take it down either way. So I'll drop this kind of right there. And then just overflow that water dish a bit. It doesn't need a lot of hydration for the soil this time, but we will give it a little bit just to kind of keep it up. Alright. I'm hoping to sex this one. Um, on its next molt, so just a hoping for a female, but I don't think so because it is pretty leggy, and uh, yeah, that uh, that doesn't guarantee male, but it's a pretty good sign for a suspect. Okay, so this one here is also new. Uh, I got this from. My buddy Jacob, he, he's with 8-Ball Exotics. You can find that on Facebook, I believe. I do not think it has a, uh, I do not think it has an actual website, but I could be mistaken. Alright, so, Nandu Chromatis. And it might not come out because it is deep, deep inside its burrow there. So, it did move a bit. So, let's see if I can fish it out. With this little roach. Oh, here he comes. Oh yeah, he wants it. I'm not sure if that's just a threat posture or not. Let me see what I can do to get him out. As always, I have my trusty stick. I'm pretty much just getting threat postures. So, let's see. Any chance you'll eat that? No? Maybe? Oh, he took it. He definitely took it. But he did not want to come out of the hole, so... There he is. Trying not to spill over the enclosure. It. I really gotta get a hold on that. <laughs> but, uh, it is beautiful. Um, so, we will let that eat. And move on to the next one. Alright, so next up is the Acanthoscuria genicolata. <clears throat> and it molted. It is female, so that is fantastic. But I already told you that yesterday, didn't I? So we will throw this guy a good size roach. And I will throw it over this way. So, well, well, let's see. Yeah. Go the other way, roach. Bam. Gorgeous. Look how broad it is getting. I love the stockiness of these tees. They're like little tanks. And I love how the abdomen still has that red setae, pinkish, reddish. The bands are coming in really nice on the legs. <clears throat> All 
All right, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up is the Leorus Quinquestriatus or the Death Stalker. Um, it seems to be in pre molt, so it is still really fat and it has not eaten in two weeks. So, my guess is it will not eat. Let me see if I can get you closer. 